Well, more than 21,000 runners and walkers expected to take part in Saturday's 37th annual Fifth Third Riverbank run, with thousands of others gathering downtown to watch and cheer them on. The woman who has handed nearly every facet of putting this huge event on every year, as we've discussed for a while. Now, race director Kristen Native joining us live in studio tonight. And uh, first of all, thanks for being here. And is it a busy week for you this week coming up, or are most of things taken care of? It, it's a real busy week, but it's a lot of fun. You know, we're scurrying around downtown Grand Rapids, putting the final touches on the big day, Saturday, May 10. I'm getting ready for the Sports and Fitness Expo at DeVos Place on Friday. We've got a junior event for kids ages 5 to 13 on Wednesday. So crazy week, but a lot of fun. This is no longer just race day. This is race week. I mean, there's been so much done. What are the big changes this year? You know, well, the big changes and the excitement is the combo events. As you guys know, we package the 5K and 10K and yeah, 5K and 25K. Enough, right? <laughs> exactly. But, you know, now if you want to run two, you can do that at the Fifth Third River Bank run. It. It's yeah, a lot it's awesome. of fun. I'm um, also new this year. Dogs have always been welcome yeah. at the Fifth Third 5K community walk but this year you can register your dog your dog will appear in the results and they'll get a great little kerchief to wear as well and we've got a couple hundred dogs signed up to do that so it's gonna be a lot of fun that's great and I know we have I don't know if the word is host or I don't know how you I'll let you explain but having uh, Dathan uh, Ritz and I here obviously a Rockford native uh, what four-time uh, an NCAA All-American three-time cross-country national champion Olympian just talk, he's gonna be available to meet people and be out at different events throughout the coming days around the race right? he is Dathan's coming in on um, late Tuesday he's gonna be out at fifth or junior at Wyoming High School he's gonna be at the sports and Fitness Expo from 4 to 6 doing a meet and greet and he's going to be on air with you guys during your coverage on race day which will be a lot of fun. He knows a lot of those elite athletes right. personally. He's raced with many of them so I think to get his commentary is going to be really cool for the public to hear. Yeah, it is. And outside of Dathan being back there's a great uh, elite athlete feel. Can you just talk a little bit about that year after year it continues to get stronger. It does. Greg Meyer the elite athlete coordinator seven time winner of the event um, has a lot of the inroads with the agents and the athletes. We've got a lot of great people coming in both internationally and Americans as well. We're again the site of the USA 25K National Championship. Um, so athletes, depending on how they place, get points toward the whole championship and could win more prize money at the end of the year. We've got $5,000 to somebody who sets a new American or world record mm -hmm. on the course. So it should be an exciting and competitive race on Saturday. Casey alluded to it a little bit about uh, that there are events going on all week, but can you talk to the to the folks maybe who are home or are thinking about coming down? You're not going to run, but mm -hmm. how to get the rest of the community involved because that part of the, the event has really grown too as much as you know the runners and walkers themselves it really has and I so often have participants say to me man with the fifth third riverbank run it has such incredible community support right. so if you don't plan to run or walk I would really urge people come downtown on Saturday May 10 get a spot on the course the course is online at 53 riverbankrun.com and just cheer people on it's just amazing how you can make the difference in somebody's event getting them from the start to the finish line now if they do plan on coming down last year there were some big changes mm -hmm. security measures taken and you want to make sure that people know that that was not just a one-time change. There's security measures you want to point out. Truly, going forward, don't bring extra belongings down with you if you don't need them. And if you do, don't leave them unattended. Don't set something down and walk away from it because security sweeps will be in place just like they were last year. Participants were really urging to use gear check this year to hold things that they're not running or walking with. You don't want to push it underneath a bush near the start or finish line because it's not going to be there when you come back. Use the gear check yeah, instead. Yeah. And I know, obviously, we need to just make sure. I'm sure things will be fine here, but you need to do that. And uh, the folks who are doing it don't want the race to become too secure, but but people just need to be aware of it, right? Exactly. It's similar to going to the airport. When you right, go to the right. airport, you don't walk away from your right. suitcase. Act the same way when you come into downtown Grand Rapids for any special event, whether it's the Fifth Third right. River Bank Run or Art Prize or whatever you've got going. Just make smart choices and be aware of what's going on around you. Now, you've been the race director since 1993. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about when it. She was I in high school. She was in high school. The intern. <laughs> the high school intern, right? <laughs> you've seen this race progress mm -hmm. uh, over those years. Uh, how much has it changed from 93 till now? I think the biggest change is technology. When I took over, we were still using the pull tags where you had to finish in shoots and you had to stay in that line according right. to how you finished. They pulled a tag off and they literally put it on a coat hanger and then they would run all those coat hangers inside and then somebody would have to enter those into a system to get the results. And I remember one year it rained and they dropped a whole thing of <laughs> coat hangers and they had to lay them out and blow dry them. And now with the B tag that's right on your on your timing, on your bib, um, your time doesn't start until you cross the starting line doesn't finish until you cross the finish line. Social media as well. I mean, you know that from the business that you're in. Uh, we didn't have Facebook. We didn't right. have Twitter. We didn't have Instagram. Um, and now that's going to be blowing up this weekend, yeah. obviously, with all the cool stuff that's going to be going on in downtown Grand Rapids. Yeah, well, hashtag all that stuff because everybody can stay kind of connected that way, which makes it a great community event. And uh, as Krista mentioned earlier, Wood TV will be down there doing coverage uh, before the race, during the race, and staying on an extended period of time this year to get the winners from the big race coming in. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, I know it's a very busy day for you, but have fun on Saturday. Thanks very much.